What's up, everybody? My name's Mo. You can catch me at youtube.com slash modiggity42 or twitch.tv slash modiggity. Today, I want to go ahead and talk about my experiences streaming. Uh, it's been about a year and a half now, roughly, and I made some really great progress. There's been trial and error. There's been mistakes. I've been banned once, and uh, this is a video where I want to go ahead and try to lay some stuff down for all of you as far as uh, small streamers, quote-unquote, are concerned because I myself am a small streamer. I'm not a partnered streamer. I'm not anywhere close to that, though I'm doing all right in numbers. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get to the points I want to go ahead and talk about. And maybe if you feel like taking some of this advice, Hopefully you take it and incorporate it into your own streams and your own content creation and hopefully it does you it does you well it does you a good service. I don't want to do any one of this service by giving bad information and that's why I'm making this video because I've been seeing a lot of really bad info from bigger streamers lately. A lot of subtle uh a lot of subtle uh I, I guess discouragement, you know, like a lot of people, a lot of big streamers are saying it takes a lot of work and you're going to have to do this and that. And really what you need to do is just be pre-established and blah, 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 blah. And I'm telling you right now, you don't have to do really any, well, you don't have to be pre-established. It does take work. But don't let the weird tone of some of these bigger YouTubers or bigger streamers, don't let it drag you down, you know? Because a lot of these big streamers that are making videos like that, it's a real low-key, subtle way to discourage you because they don't want the competition. Because competition means they have to work harder. And half the time, most of these partnered Twitch streamers or uh, uh, these higher-end uh, streamers in general, they kind of fucking suck, and the only reason why they even got the the accolades or the the titles that they have is because they've been doing this for quite some time. So, without further ado, uh, I like to go ahead and give my take on everything as someone who's only averaging five to twenty plus viewers a stream. Okay, let's go ahead and go. I want to go ahead and talk about consistent schedule, all right? Don't go full time. You're going to wear yourself out. You're going to burn yourself out, and you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy with the way things are going. You're not going to be happy with your, your life. You're not going to have time for relationships or to play the other games you want or to even do something simple like going for a walk at the park or watching one of your favorite TV shows. I've made time so I can play, uh, so I can watch the Orwell and also play other games. So, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's good to stream as much as you can within reason. If you think if you if you if you think that you can do full time, then go right ahead. Don't let me stop you. But I'm telling you right now, if you go full bore, if you just give it the gas right off the bat, you're going to end up burning out. And you may end up quitting, and that's going to really suck, especially if your content's really great and you have a good innovative new take on a stream or a game or a show idea or something like that. And I want to see each and every one of you guys survive, uh, survive, succeed. I want you to survive and succeed. Hmm. So let me go ahead and just say, go ahead and just do about 15 to 20 hours a week starting out. Get your footing, just have some fun, customize your notifications on all that, like really dive deep into the, uh, the, the the lore of it all, you know? You don't want to go in half-cocked because what's a pain in the ass is uh, I didn't know the terminology and so I learned a lot of things the hard way. Like I didn't know what a sound gate was. I didn't know what a stinger uh, a, a transition scene was. And I spent considerable amounts of time trying to figure out basic terminology so that's what you want to do you want to get into the basics before you want to go full time 
before you stream for more than three days a week, try, at least try, to look up best OBS settings or best uh, X splits uh, uh, settings for you and your stream because you want your shit to be quality. You want your stuff to not look like a, a garbage heap, you know? And for God's sake, splurge on a better CPU, okay? Uh, CPU and RAM, I'm really, really sure that unless, unless you have something lower than a 1050 Ti, you're going to be able to pretty much play everything or at least it's going to look pretty good on your stream at least the games that you can play which when i had my 1050 ti I pretty much played everything freaking stellar it was sweet played skyrim on high ultra gra or on uh, ultra graphics no problem uh but you know you want to make sure that you have your hardware up to snuff you know but that's another rant for another day let's go ahead and go to number two reasonable goals if you're a, say a twitch partner or you're a youtuber and you're you're going for that adsense freaking bucks right but you need your thousand subs to get that or you need your 75 concurrent viewers for your twitch partnership uh, uh, uh qualifications you know don't let that stress you out more than likely you're not going to get either one of those in the first year maybe even year and a half I've been doing this for a year and a half, and I'm barely averaging 5 to 20 plus uh, people, concurrent viewers, uh, a stream, at least on Twitch. And I average maybe 50, 60 views, almost a video on YouTube, because I'm not taking it super, super seriously. Because, let's face it, you are not at that point. I'm not at that point and I know that because I'm not as as big as I would want to be but that's the key point it's what you want versus what is realistic if you're not fighting what is realistic you're gonna have a much better time and the ideas for your streams or your YouTube videos on whatever platform that you want to stream or do or whatever tube service that you want to uh, put on there be it freaking uh, oh, I don't, I don't know, uh, ASMR to fucking porn. You know, porn's a valid freaking profession. So, you know, if whatever, you know, whatever your freak flag is, go ahead and wave it freaking high, man, because that's what you should do, okay? You need to have reasonable standards and reasonable goals. That way you don't burn out and quit. The whole point, oops, <laughs> the whole point of this video is to encourage you not discourage you i want every single one of you to succeed i want you to thrive i want you to survive but mostly i don't want you to quit so that is the point of establishing reasonable goals and the reason why you want to establish reasonable goals because that will go ahead and segue into my next point happiness and variety you'll be much much happier if you're not trying to stress yourself out trying to achieve partner or trying to get your adsense on your youtube or whatever uh, the other platforms have for partnership status or adsense status I, i'm not really sure a lot of people really love stream.me and daily motion i know sticks likes to post his videos on daily motion i think you should go check him out he's a really really cool uh a youtuber but i i digress and i don't want to get off track uh you need to realize that your happiness is priority number one above all these other things you need to make sure that you're happy doing what you're doing if you are looking at the top 20 say twitch streamers or mixer streamers and they're all playing fortnite but you're thinking to yourself gee i freaking hate fortnite and i don't want to play it don't play it. I didn't think there was a whole huge audience for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines until I played it on Twitch. And lo and behold, I got a ton of people watching my stuff and I got a lot of good people chilling out in my Discord and chilling out uh, uh, with me on the other streams now. I actually really do love Fortnite and I do love Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Two great games. If you haven't played them already, go ahead and do so. Uh, but if you're not happy, if you're not happy playing these games or 
if you're not happy doing the, I guess, a talk show or whatever it is that you're doing, you're not going to enjoy it. And what's the point of this video? To make sure that you don't quit. I don't want you to quit. So you want to be happy. You don't make yourself happy. Don't make yourself falsely happy. Like don't falsely convince yourself that you're enjoying, say, Fortnite if you're not enjoying Fortnite. If you just want to just no cam it and just boot up your PS1 if you have a, a, a capture card and play Final Fantasy 7 like a really good friend of mine, DieGB1791, in my uh, Discord does, you know, and he likes playing Fortnite too, but he loves RPGs and other stuff. He's a no camera, you know, that means no webcam. And he's just playing the game, and it's fantastic. Tons of fun. Lots of people uh, are checking him out, and he's really just half assing it. He's not even putting a whole lot of effort into it because he's not letting it stress him out. That's why he's getting eight to nine to ten people watching him casually just chill you know it's nothing special it's just a very basic stream but people like it and there is an audience for everything you have to trust me on that there is uh, even if you're just a freaking goofball and you just want to play games like say leisure suit larry or those really old floppy disk games that you had on your apple mac computer uh, when you were in junior high back in the early early 90s I'm dating myself, but, you know, fuck it, whatever. Uh, you know, uh, Oregon Trail for the win. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that you're happy. And you want to make sure that your variety it makes you happy. You know, you don't want to keep doing the whole, uh, the, just one thing over and over and over again. Unless you're happy doing it and unless your audience is happy. Eventually, everything will just come organically to you. So, when you end up, say almost at the level that Tim the Tatman or Dr. Disrespect, two great streamers, by the way, go check them out. Uh, you know, you'll know what to do. You know, you'll, you'll know that uh, putting in a just chatting section uh, it, to your streams, maybe before or after your games or your main little meat and potatoes of your stream or kale and cabbage if you're a vegan, uh, <laughs> uh, You'll, you'll figure out what to do eventually. And that's why I want you to be happy. Because like I said, the point of this video is to encourage you not to quit. And so, uh, but that, let's go ahead and talk about something that's a little bit controversial. But I don't give a shit because I'm going to talk about because I'm fucking sick of seeing this shit. And quite frankly, it makes me fucking disgusted that people are, that, that the powers that be... In, in in the 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 streaming industries like you know mixer and twitch and all that and youtube and all this stuff aren't cracking down harder on these types of guys you don't want to be an e-beggar okay no one likes a bum no one likes a fucking e-beggar okay you don't want to be like dark side phil or you don't want to be like wings of fucking redemption you know, you don't go into, you don't start your streams yelling at your audience saying like, if you ain't going to subscribe to me or donate to me, then get the fuck out of here. You don't want to be that guy because really you're just going to end up turning into a freaking lol cow and your reputation is going to be cemented in Kiwi farms and stuff and that shit's never going away and you don't have anyone to blame but yourself for that. You want to be cool. Don't don't do any kind of uh, like monetary goals for anything important like don't go in there trying to get your uh, your bills uh, uh, paid off unless you're uh, unless you have a really good sized audience and you're being real with them and that's another point I'll get to in a moment real being uh, real versus being fake or uh, being real versus being fake rather uh, you know, unless you have that specific connection with your audience, if you're just doing rando streams, people aren't going to see that, and you're going to get labeled an e-beggar, and e-beggars are fucking cancer, man. You don't want to be an e-beggar. Fundraise for fun stuff, like a Nintendo Switch, or whatever console that you want. Uh, right now, I'm doing, a, uh, I'm doing a little fundraiser for an 8700K CPU, uh, it's sitting pretty at zero dollars right now, 
but I'm not really trying to plug it that much because it's not that big a deal. Okay, if it's, you know, try to go for stuff for fun uh, to, uh, you know, something that will improve the stream. Because people, when they see you actually working really hard, they'll reciprocate that 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 uh, uh, the pleasantry, uh, your, your good positive energy, and it might come into the form of a dollar or two, or a follow, or a sub. And you need to be grateful for whatever you get. Okay, I cannot stress that enough. Be grateful for what you got. You're not entitled to a damn thing. Your audience does not, or, or, excuse me, your audience is not entitled to buy you a Nintendo Switch. They're not entitled to give you enough money for rent. Get a fucking job, okay? You don't be an e-beggar. Get a goddamn job. Don't be a putz. Don't be a bum. And that's, uh, let's go ahead and segue into a, a lighter subject. Customizing your page, your emotes, your notification uh, uh, to what represents your happiness, your, uh, your, your perkiness, or your personality. Uh, you also want to go ahead and customize your spiel. You know, uh, your spiel is, hey, if you guys like that content, go ahead and hit that follow button and turn on notifications for when I go live because I play a lot of multiplayer games and I love playing uh, with my with my chat and my audience and stuff. You know, that. And if you like the content, consider giving me your Twitch Prime sub or subbing to me in general. You know, have some fun with it. Uh, don't freak out about it. Uh, you know, just let it be organic. Use, make a, make a, a just a, a sentence that you can just rattle off like that. You know, and just repeat it off stream to yourself to, to the point where you can rattle it off, no problem, and it feels organic. People respond to that and they think it looks cool because you sound like a broadcaster. And that's kind of what you're doing. You're being a broadcaster, a content creator. You're having fun. And, you know, when you're having fun, you're happy. And when you're happy, you're not going to quit. Uh, as far as emotes and stuff and, and your own notifications, that's all up to you. I recommend... I made a costly $20 mistake by uh, uh, paying 20 bucks for a real shitty emote. And honestly... You should get yourself a Discord server and or start joining Discord servers. Maybe you should join some before you make your own so you know what you're doing. Uh, really get in there and there's plenty of people that do bang up work for free or for five bucks. I didn't get necessarily ripped off with the $20 emote because the person that made it was very, very sweet and very nice. And I won't, I won't rag on that because the mistake wasn't on her end. It was on mine because I didn't know any better. And that's the point. That's the other point of this video is I want to go ahead and give you my advice of what I've learned so far. Networking is key. That's how you'll get super, super cheap stuff. That's how you get your audience. And that's how you'll be able to uh, collab with people. Collaboration is a lot of fun. It's not necessary, but it's tons of fun. So, let's see, that's going to go ahead and segue into the very last point, is be upbeat, engage your audience, don't sit there like this the entire time, because that fucking sucks. Uh, no one wants to go to a stream and go look at the dude who's just f slumped in his chair, not saying a damn word, he's not really in the middle of anything strenuous or anything like that. So you can you can spare the millisecond, the the nanosecond to say hi. How are y'all doing? Rattle off your spiel. I'd recommend only like maybe once every 45 minutes with your spiel. That way it doesn't look like you're trying to over promote yourself and it makes it uh, uh, kind of arduous for your audience and they don't get burned out of the same thing. It's like he never talks about anything. He just talks about stuff and he's promoting himself constantly. So you want to make sure that when you're doing your audience engagement, you're being very organic. You're not being fake. Now let's go ahead and talk about being real versus being fake. You don't want to be fake because fake people and fake streamers tend to get a really, really bad rep. And 
it, once you have a bad rep, you're probably not going to shake that for a really long time until you do your redemption arc. And there's no telling when a person's going to get their redemption arc, you know? Uh, if you're smart about it, you're not going to need a redemption arc because you're going to be cool and you're not going to fuck around and you're not going to be a dick. And you're going to be cool with your audience. You're going to engage with them. And you're going to be happy. And the point of this video, the ultimate point, is to be happy and to not give up. And with that being said, I thank you for watching the show. I really do appreciate this. Uh, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and sub to the channel. If you want to go check me out on twitch.tv slash modiggity and give me a follow over there and check out uh, all my past streams. I have like 80 plus now. So you should have plenty to just rifle through. And there's probably something that you'll like to watch there. And, uh, you know shoot me a freaking message man i love talking to people i love engaging with people and i hope for everyone's sake that i gave y'all a lot of really great advice and you incorporate that into your content creation or your streaming and if you do and you do uh and you do great throw me a line one day let me know if you ever get shroud famous maybe we can do a collab or something together all right latest